So really, what's the significance of having Tim's papers available on the archive? Well, I mean, Tim Leary was, you know, he was a lot of different things in different decades. He was kind of like a selig of the zeitgeist. And, you know, when he was at West Point, he was at the University of Alabama, he, he created, you know, a whole way of looking at, at the mind that was, I mean, before anything before LSD. I mean, he, he created the personality inventory test that is still used in most, in most institutions. He created the idea of transpersonal psychology where it was obvious that there was a third party between the between the psychological partners. Uh, and then he became uh, Timothy Leary, uh, as, as people thought of him, and, and became such a chimera of the public imagination because he was himself a complicated person that he faded into kind of a, an improper mist. But if you understand Timothy Leary, you at least understand a lot about America during the, the 20th century. Uh, and I think actually much of what's happened since 1970 has been a response to something that Tim Leary started uh, in America, which is still getting itself worked out. I don't believe, oddly enough, I don't believe that we would have seen Barack Obama made president of the United States if it hadn't been for Tim Leary. Why is that? Because he started that change in consciousness that, that was responded to by such fierce opposition. He started the war between the 50s and the 60s that went on until Inauguration Day this year. So it's really important that, you know, such the, the history of such a person be properly memorialized and understood by the people who were going to live in its consequences. So a kid today in 2009 who may not know a lot about the history of the 60s and the history of Tim, what can they get from these archives? They can find out a hell of a lot that their parents wouldn't tell them. <laughs> no, their parents probably knew a lot that, that would be in those archives, but they were dishonest about it, unfortunately. So 20-year-olds, check them out. Anything else you want to add? No, but, no, I'll just say this. Timothy Leary is not dead. He lives on in cyberspace. You can find him there. Go check him out.